Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. Two men are arrested and charged with the manufacturing of meth in Corning. Yesterday morning around 8.30, police were called to a domestic incident on Bridge Street Extension. Police say 30-year-old William Griffin beat a 23-year-old woman with a hockey stick and also punched and kicked her repeatedly before fleeing the scene. That woman was taken to Corning Hospital for treatment. Then this morning, police caught him during a traffic stop. They became suspicious that he and his passenger, 25-year-old Jacob Woodworth, were hiding something. During a search, they found an active meth lab and the ingredients to make it. They also found the drug in their car. Woodworth and Griffin are charged with unlawful manufacture of meth and criminal possession of a controlled substance. Griffin is also charged with assaults and possession of a weapon. Both men are in the Steuben County Jail on $50,000 bonds. Two properties in Corning's north side are undergoing some major restorations. 232 Onondaga Street and 161 Kingsbury Avenue were both purchased by the Steuben County Land Bank Corporation as part of its program to address issues of blight caused by vacant, abandoned, condemned, or foreclosed properties. Officials toured the properties this week to check on the upgrades and were pleased with the progress. The homes will be up for sale when they're completed. It felt more like winter than spring with the snowfall this morning. If you're longing for spring, though, head out to Massey's Gardens and Landscaping, where tomorrow they will be hosting their annual spring fling event. Workers and vendors were busy setting up four full greenhouses today. The event highlights small and local businesses in our community and has something to offer for pretty much everyone in the family. Well, we do have 95 vendors. Many of our favorites have come back, but we have so many new ones, so we're very excited. This year we have added a silent auction, which is very nice because then all the proceeds will go to our nonprofit organizations, and we have six of them coming. We invite them every year. We have face painting, we have food, we have wine and beer and spirits. We have animals coming, we have goats, and we have miniature horses coming. We also have our alpacas, the boys are coming, and they're always a big attraction. So it's every greenhouse is filled. Every greenhouse has something different in it. So we're very excited. Tell me a little bit about Massey's and how you got this event started. Well, Massey's, um, I'm the fourth generation. I'm a Massey and um, my great grandfather started the business back in the 20s. It's about six years ago when we started this event. We needed something to kick off the season and um, it's grown immensely. Pat, our event coordinator, has done an amazing job bringing different vendors in here. Even though it's snowing out today, right now, the sun's supposed to come out and it's always spring in here. Spring Fling runs from 10 till 4 and it's free. It's also indoors, so it will take place regardless of the weather. Food and drinks will be available. And speaking of the weather, it might be a while before we see spring in the Big Fox forecast. Meteorologist Ross Whitley looks ahead next. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Hi, I'm meteorologist Ross Whitley. Overnight tonight, we're going to have that rain snow mix continue. Really rain this evening, transitioning back to snow as we go into the overnight hours, dropping all the way down to 24 degrees as that cold front continues to move through. So we had a warm front go through earlier, bringing us a little bit of snow, transitioning back to rain, and now we'll transmission back to snow with that cold front going through. But tomorrow, cold, cloudy, and sunshine by the afternoon hours and then more of the same as we go into Sunday. Going into Monday, we watch a little bit of snow out there late in the afternoon. Maybe some light aways of accumulation and our highs out there for today. Well, it looks deceiving because we haven't actually hit these highs, but as we've gone through the evening hours into the overnight, well, we're going to get there. Then the cold front comes in. We'll see that rain change back over to snow. That's the weather for you. Forecast map out there for the day tomorrow. Much colder as that cold front has gone on through and we'll continue to see those chillier temperatures for our Saturday and Sunday. Then Monday, 
Only 44 degrees with a little bit of snow late as we go into Tuesday. Cloud cover continuing and slowly but surely. Oh, it looks like spring by the end of next week. We lose those overnight lows below freezing and we see temperatures back into the 50s. Imagine that we're in the spring. Yeah. Well, Tanner's Paws and Corning has plenty of pets looking for forever homes and Noble is our pet of the week. So this is Noble. Noble is a one year old mix between a Sharpe and a pug. He is a little bit shy at first, but he would really do best in a home that has another dog. He is a puppy mill dog, so he finds comfort in having another dog in his home. If you want to see Noble, come down to Tanner's Paws. Tanner's Paws is open tomorrow from 10 to 2. It's located at 117 West Market Street in Corning. Thanks for joining us on Big Fox News. Have a great weekend.